so my lipstick drawer hasn't really changed all that much to be honest with you um it's it's yeah it's basically like the same i'm just gonna move these ones forward though we do have i know at least one more mac lipstick to put in there which is just like crazy because look how many there is <laughs> um so yeah this one isn't too bad it would be a lot worse if i could fit in like my long lipsticks which are, like in there in lip liners and stuff um but currently i can't so yeah because the drawers too small and then the next one is blushes i haven't to be honest with you i haven't really sorted this one out i've only done like a rough sort out of this one um but this has its own drawer still it is a lot better than it was before i've been to quite a bit though um even though it was only a rough kind of sorting out this drawer has completely changed this has now became my um like primer drawer so i've got like primers here like normal kind of primers then i've got like kind of bronzing primers some like kind of cream bronzers and stuff stuff that i'd probably put on underneath my foundation um liquid highlighters that i'd put on underneath as well um, and just more like little pots of primers back here Um, here i have some setting sprays i have a big benefit due the hula which i've got back there because i've got some minis on the go so i want to use them first before i use a big one back there is just all just crap <laughs> really Um, i've got my chanel little highlighter like loose highlighter oh my god this thing's flopping about so yeah this is my primer drawer because this was never ever getting touched upon ever so there's that one i'm actually gonna put this one in there as well i think that's it oh and there's another one and um, the makeup revolution one so i'll just pop that one on the top as well this one has also completely transformed this used to have a big drawer now it's got a little drawer and um, i've binned quite a bit but this has highlighters and bronzers in i don't think i've got i've got one bronzer to put away out of my everyday kind of drawer just a little hula and i actually do have a blusher to put away just a little cheap pound one so i can go in there so that's blushes bronzes this drawer has completely and utterly transformed i binned so many mascaras because they were out of date and some of them smelled disgusting like absolutely disgusting ignore all this mess by the way like i'm not even bothered anymore <laughs> So I binned loads of eyeliners that were just all rank and gone like mouldy and stuff, just disgusting. So I've got a lot of eyeliners in here that I've got left over. This one is all brow products. I binned quite a lot of these as well because they've gone disgusting. Um, we also have my concealers here, which used to have like a big pot of their own, which they don't need anymore because I've binned quite a few. Once again, went all disgusting and separated. Um, eyeshadow bases, I didn't bin too many of them. And then this one is all kind of liquid... Um, eyeliners so glitter ones but also like just typical black ones as well and then back here we have um kind of mascaras that i haven't really opened yet um a brow product um like the powdered one and then like an old one underneath that i'm going to see my friend laura once and then these are just all backups as well this drawer which again has transformed is foundation drawers so i do have the sleek foundation to put away in here because i did a video today trying that and um, i've also got this bourgeois one which was in my everyday makeup drawer as well so pop that in there and i think that's it for liquid foundation this drawer oh my god this drawer is beautiful let me sit down so this one Apart from the couple of things at the back, which are like backup things, is eyeshadows. And it just looks beautiful. So we have like um, Anastasia Beverly Hills to here. And then we have um, Too Faced. And then we have Urban Decay, Ella Masca, Kylie, Pixie, Huda Beauty, there and there, Tartlet Palette, and then Soph's two palettes of Makeup Revolution. And then they're just like kind of backup powders uh, and stuff like that this drawer is another one that is completely different i didn't have one of these drawers they were like in my bigger drawers if that makes sense so this is all powders i'm not too happy with where this is i wish it was in a different drawer but i can't really oh my angle just clicked i can't really do anything about it i do have some extras to add so that's the first stockholm one and the l'oreal one so this is loose powders and like normal compact setting powders as well then down here i have my like glitter palettes um then i've got kind of like I don't know everything in this drawer i've got like really really big glitters loose glitters i've got kind of stencil like gems and stuff 
um, a little love heart thing. Just kind of like if I was going to be creative, I'd go to like that little tub. And then I have like some pixie, kind of sparkly, loose eyeshadows. We've got some pigments, MAC, um, MAC. What are these ones? I don't know actually. I got these when I bought something with P. Louise. Oh, that brand, yeah. Steeler, Steeler liquid lipstick and um, liquid eyeliners. Oh my god, liquid eyeshadows. These are all the Technic brand, um, MAC, and then all peaches and cream. And then this drawer. Oh my god, this drawer is crazy. This is um, skincare stuff that I haven't used, apart from obviously this, which is what I've got on my face. Um, these little gold patches, but the rest of it is all brand new stuff that hasn't been used um, because I wanted to kind of get through some skincare stuff and use it with stuff that were already open instead of opening stuff that can last longer, if that makes sense, because I haven't been open. So this is kind of just a bit of a career career draw, to be honest. <laughs> and then we, we also have a new drawer over here. This is like my um, bigger set of Alex drawers, like the fat um, kind of long width ones, but like the shorter, if that makes sense, than the other ones. My bedroom's a mess because I'm still, obviously I was in the middle of moving, <laughs> but it's a lot tidier than what it normally is. <laughs> so this is stuff that is opened stuff that is very very clearly opened and very clearly needs to um like be used up when it's like time if that makes sense so once something is being used up out of my normal kind of skincare drawer which i'll show you in a minute then i will replace it with what's out of this drawer it's like a little system um because this is obviously already opened so to the right hand side here i just have my contact lenses um i've got some mario badescu however you pronounce it, um, sprays down the side here that would definitely have been used. So I've got them. Um, this drawer is kind of anything moisturising, serum-y, if that makes sense. We have like a big Lancome Hydrazen moisturiser. I remember paying like £40 for this. Um, crazy. Dr. Bo Botanicals. Oh my god. Moroccan Rose Natural Facial Moisturiser. That smells amazing. I also have the Superfood Facial Oil, the Moroccan Rose one again. This is so sticky. I put some on yesterday and it was proper sticky. Um, these ones are open. Um, there's no like, rush to use them, but obviously they're just face masks and stuff. So we have the Pixie T-Zone Peel-Off Mask and then the Glow Mud Mask is there as well. Um, we have the Hyaluronic Booster from Superdrug. It just looks like this. This is Moisturising Hyaluronic Booster. Um, 2% hyaluronic solution, hydrates and plump skin, softens and smooths. And um, we have the Pixie little eye pa um, eye gels. We've got like some Glam Glow moisturisers, um, Benefit facial serum, the Divine Intervention se um, oil from Time Bomb. But anyways, I've got a little moisturiser back here as well. This is one that if, like, if it goes out of date, I'm not really that bothered. But it does smell really nice. But I just thought I'll put it there because it's already open. This one is kind of exfoliating shizness. Apart from this one. <laughs> so we have like um, triple microdermabrasion, like scrubs, um, gentle micropolis wash, exfoliating cleanser, um, gentle refiner, glycolic um, fix night pads. From Nip and Fab, and then this is just a um, bi facial non oily instant cleanser from Lancome. So we got that. And this one is makeup removers. So again, we have another Lancome one, a little baby one, um, a little baby Clinique one, take the day off makeup remover. We've got the um, Lacura Vitamin C Hot Cloth Cleanser, which is from Aldi. We have the Estee Lauder Take It Away Makeup Remover Lotion. Oh my god, my voice is going. We have the Ordinary. I'm going to try and pronounce that squ squalene, squalene, cleanser, I don't know. Um, and then the Benefit Forming Facial Wash. And then back here is just a Sanctuary Spa Makeup Remover. And then kind of like tucked in the back is, um, to begin with, is like this little pad to remove your makeup. Like a little vibrating one from Senshi. We have some um, biodegradable wipes from Primark. A foot scrub and then that moisturiser that I mentioned previously. So yeah, I've got this little drawer 
as well. And then obviously just my foundation, my foundation, my um eyeshadow. Oh my god, my eyelash drawer which hasn't changed at all. That's still exactly the same. This drawer has a change. So this used to have like all my eyeshadows like stored. This isn't the best. Doesn't look the best, but at least I can see everything. Um, there's like Anastasia, Too Faced. These are Makeup Revolution. There's some Primark, some Beauty Bear, Shanix O. W7, this is kind of like just a little palette, so like Inglot, Primark, um, Wixie Lux, and then that's like all Galan. When I used to work for Galan. And then in this drawer is another one of them Pixie Stacks, but this one is a matte one, matte loose eyeshadows. We've got the Urban Decay Naked Basics and the Elizabeth Arden one. Shout out Tilbury which I'm so excited to try. Um, and then just some little ones, MAC, Estee Lauder, Topshop, Makeup Revolution. She's like that. And then this drawer, which is quite empty because I don't really have many big ones. And it's actually missing. Oh, God, because I've just done a tutorial with it. It's actually missing this bad boy. And there we go. In this little place. So this one has the Be Perfect Carnival palette, my Conspiracy palette, the Lime Crime Venus one, obviously the Bloodlust palette, and then we have the Morphe and Jacqueline original palette, and then the Morphe 35B, I think, the colour palette. And I think this one hasn't been sorted out yet, no. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I've got some eye patches on, some gold ones, but they do keep slipping down my face, so do ignore that if that does happen <laughs> um in like the thing that's happening recently i mean it is like quarter past noon of 20 past nine that i'm filming this video on a friday night um but just obviously bear in mind everything that's happening in the world and um, with covid19 slash coronavirus whatever you want to call it um I want this to be a positive, happy place for you to kind of escape to. So I'm going to try and upload as literally as much content as, as I possibly can. Um, so I'm going to be doing kind of an adaptation on a series that I was already going to start last month. Didn't get around to doing it and I was going to do it in March. Didn't get around to doing it because just life. I'm doing a university course and also working full time and I will be working full time still whilst um, we are on lockdown. If, I'm not sure if any of you are aware if you oh, I've just put a hole in that. If any of you don't live in the UK but um, currently the UK is in lockdown. Why aren't you focusing on my head? Thank you. Um, so yeah the UK is currently on lockdown so we can only leave the house for food essentials and um, one form of exercise a day. My mum currently has some symptoms, so we aren't leaving the house at all. I haven't left the house since Monday. She started experiencing the symptoms on Tuesday. Um, so none of us are leaving the house for 14 days. Um, just to prevent it spreading around, and obviously that's what the guidance is as well. Anyway, but this little shut my sash thing, I have tried to do it before. It didn't really pick up very well. I was going to do it weekly. That was such a big expectation to put on myself, um, so it didn't happen. <laughs> basically so i'm gonna do it um just with everything that's going on i'm just gonna do it as and when so what i was gonna do previously and what i had planned for february and also for march was the beginning of the month i shop my stash and i picked so much stuff out of my makeup collection the whole month i kind of used it and um, halfway through the month i'd do like a tutorial on it and then at the end of the month i'd do like a review video and say this is what i like this is what i didn't like etc etc however it just never happened never got around to doing it so i thought now that i have the kind of opportunity to be able to put makeup on see how it goes throughout the day and not worry if it looks a mess because i'm not leaving for work i'm working from home everything that's happening and um, i work for a mental health service in case any of you aren't aware um, I was just in the process of like a third of the way through getting trained up to be a um, psychological wellbeing practitioner which basically means that um, I'd be working with people with like common mental health problems such as anxiety and depression um, and doing like low intensity cognitive behavioural therapy with them so CBT um, if you've heard of it before. But anyways, so we're still working from home because we can do our assessments and keeping in touch calls and stuff from home. So um, I've been on annual leave this week, but next week I will be back to working um, like Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, full time hours kind of thing. Um, so what would normally happen is I'd have this little drawer that's in front of me here. And this little drawer would normally be full of kind of everyday makeup for me to 
put on for work, stuff that I kind of knew would work, um, and just do the job nicely just to get me by for work kind of stuff. Whereas obviously now, if I put something on and it looks a mess, it doesn't matter because I'm working from home. So I thought this is going to be the perfect time for me to shop my makeup collection. Perfect time for me to do tutorials and stuff and test things out during the day that I wouldn't normally be comfortable kind of testing out when I'm at work or either have the time in the morning before getting to work to be able to do a video to then test out during the day, if that makes sense. So I've completely organised my makeup collection. I will show you that in a moment. Um, it is like I've br been brutal and binned so much stuff and I'm so happy with the, kind of the layout of it at the moment. The one thing that I haven't kind of sorted out is this little compartment. I don't really know where to put it. And this has like all of my eyeshadow brushes organised. Um, so we have like small detail slash fluffy packing on brushes. We have like my big blending brushes and then my small blending brushes because I could never find these. Um, and these ones are so important for my eyeshadow looks and stuff. So apart from that one, I'm really happy with how my collection is at the moment. My lipsticks aren't organised because I was halfway in between moving house. Um, on Monday, I moved so much stuff out. Um, so I'm missing like my big drawers behind me, which normally have my little Groot on them. Um, I'm missing them <laughs> as well. Um, they're actually at the new house. So all my lipsticks and stuff are just kind of all over the place. All of my acrylic storage, I washed and like sanitised and stuff and put it into a black bag ready to move to the new house. And then obviously the next day we went into lockdown. So I was like, actually it was at night. That night we went into lockdown. Monday night. Um starting straight away so basically from the Monday, from the Tuesday we weren't allowed out of the house anyways so I'll show you what my makeup collection is looking like currently um and I've already done one of these videos already for my Jeffree Star Bloodlust tutorial which you may have seen or if not it is coming up so I've already done one of them already and um, I just think it's just a really fun idea for me to try some new things try out my collection use some things up that I would never normally have used up and then it just gets to the point where they just get wasted so I don't want it to be the case anymore so that is my kind of vlog style makeup collection video what do you think it is there is going to be an updated one of these basically because obviously I was in the middle of moving house and moving out and moving in with Blake and his family instead um, and I will have my own kind of little room so i'll be like a main room for me and blake to sleep in and then i'll have my own little room which will be kind of my filming getting ready me time kind of room um so there will be an updated proper version of this um but yeah let me know when we do any kind of videos on any particular products or palettes or anything like that i really want to do one on the amreezy palette like that will look bomb bomb me up um so yeah let me know i love you so much i hopefully will see you in my next video um i am uploading bonus videos just with everything that's going on um, i'm going to upload as much as i possibly can i love you so much thank you so much i hope you're safe and on a real note i hope you're safe i hope your family is safe um and i hope you're just looking after yourself love you bye